What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be going over some tips and features of GoodNote that make it excellent for handwriting. GoodNote is one of the best note-taking apps available for any platform. And of course, the iPad is one of the best devices for writing notes and studying and handwriting. This video will go over some very useful features that you might use on your day-to-day note-taking. Since the introduction of the Apple Pencil, the iPad has become a power horse for note-taking and studying. And GoodNote, with the Apple Pencil integration and a few other features that we'll be going over in this video, make the iPad a perfect choice for students or anyone else that requires a lot of note-taking. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So without further ado, we'll get into the tips and features for GoodNote for your iPad and your Apple Pencil. Double tap for undo. One of the best features for GoodNote for studying is actually one of the most simple and it's the one that I use quite often the most. That is double tapping with two fingers with the GoodNote on any section of the blank space on your GoodNote app in order to undo. There's a few other ways to undo with the GoodNote app, but I found this way to be the easiest as I can double tap using two fingers while holding the iPad and the Apple Pencil and not interrupt my workflow. So if you ever find yourself making a quick mistake and want to make a quick correction, you can quickly undo by just using two fingers and double tapping on GoodNote. Grid paper. Another simple but essential feature of GoodNote is its built-in functions for allowing the use of grid paper. Grid paper makes writing with the Apple Pencil a lot easier as it's a lot easier to line up both horizontally and vertically your handwriting when you have grid paper on the iPad. To enable grid paper, what you want to do is edit your templates and then you want to scroll right on the paper type until you find the grid paper. Here you can select it and add it to any new project or note that you have in GoodNotes. Convert to text. The iPad's handwriting recognition system has improved vastly over the years and iterations of Pad OS, and the iPad has some very native, well-developed features for recognizing handwriting, and so does GoodNote as well. GoodNotes takes us a step further by easily allowing you to convert handwriting to edible text and being able to copy that text very quickly. Simply select the Lasso tool and select the handwritten notes that you would like to convert. After you've selected it, hit the selection and then you'll see the menu pop up. From here, hit convert and then you'll be able to convert it until editable text. Customize pen settings. The GoodNote app offers a lot of easily customizable pen settings that are beyond what is actually offered on Apple's native note apps as well. The Pen app is easily customizable and you can adjust it by simply clicking on the pen icon at the top left of your note. Here you can adjust from the three different pen styles, fountain pen, ball pen, and brush pen. Furthermore, you can also adjust the sensitivity very accurately in 25 percentage increments using the horizontal slider. This is very helpful if you have, are having trouble controlling the size of your notes or you want to try to mimic the usage of a fountain pen, ball pen, or brush pen. Personally, I found for writing that the ball pen really did emulate what it felt like to write with a ball pen on my iPad and it made my handwriting a lot more streamlined and faster. So there you have it everyone, some tips and features for GoodNote that should work for your iPad and your Apple Pencil. These are some of the tips that I use the most often, but if you have some of your own, don't forget to leave a message down below. And if you found this kind of content useful, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.